What is up, MFers, and welcome to Iwija. Uh, we're doing a little fishing tournament today. This is, uh, I'm not gonna say the last tournament of the year, obviously, because we got the Melican Fishing Slosh Master Classic coming up very, very soon, uh, which, by the way, there are still a few spots left. I'll link it down below if you guys wanna sign up. $20,000 payout. Payout's not gonna be quite that much this time. Field's not gonna be quite this big this time. Uh, we got like 25 boats today, though, out here at a little local lake, uh, six, 700 acres, I'm not really sure. How big this lake is the last time we were here though myself and zark actually got second place we had a really good bag um another team caught him obviously a little bit better than we did um but yeah it's it's tough time of the year fishing i know you guys like the tournament fishing videos myself and tony are fishing the tournament zark's a, a dickhead and, and and is up in south dakota pulling on the big small mouths but um myself and tony are fishing this tournament today um, gonna be interesting. We're in this weird fall transition phase of late summer, early fall, where the fishing's been pretty damn tough all over the place, but we're hoping to get out and um, break this down pretty quick today. I think we're gonna kind of start shallow. There was a giant harvest moon this morning, uh, and when that happens, generally the bite is best in the morning. So we're gonna go to some of our, our better spots first thing in the morning, see if we can get a couple keepers, get the morning going with some momentum or something like that. Fish kind of a little bit shallower than usual, but We'll hit the, look, the, the usual offshore spots as well, but uh, gotta go pick Tony up. Everyone's launching boats at this point, and um, yeah, get things going. Well, we, uh, we launched the boat, and uh, the tournament took off, but the first hour for safety purposes, you can't have a wake. There's Tony. Tony's ready to catch some big fish today. Uh, but yeah, we're we're barreling down the lake at uh, 5.6 <laughs> miles an hour. So we should be to our first spot in about four, maybe five hours. That'll give us about 45 minutes to fish, and then we got to make a run all the way back to the launch. No, we're we're gonna get there eventually. But we're gonna start on some uh, some little rock piles um, that are barely offshore. They're really janky and nasty. It's where Zark and I caught them last time you know, fish never move, so you gotta go to the exact same spot, you always catch them, right? And then we're just kinda gonna junk fish the rest of the day, and it's gonna be like a pre-fishing day almost. Neither of us have fished here at all lately, and I think that almost works out in your favor, or so, um, more than not, to be honest, so. Let's see the first spot. Too windy. Let's go home. I don't like it. Too much wind. We're not gonna catch them, too windy. guy not a keeper I don't think no he's not a keeper but hey we caught a fish we didn't do that the last tournament forever a minute oh, but there's some better ones mixed in but typical wingding and that time small that's what's down there i think a lot of these pecker heads he's thick i was like they're solid yeah he's a solid one i don't think he's even worth a measure no no he'll use the right the right width not the right length been getting bit on these little there's little rock piles out here jankiness but uh not the right quality this morning, so we're about to go do something else, I think. Be super good if we could... saw that one. My... That was probably a good one, wasn't it? How did it just rip it, it off? It, it didn't... didn't even... That's probably my it bad. Didn't... Drag seemed a little I mean, loose. But it's not that loose. Like, he just ripped it. I mean, it's... it's... That's stupid. Rush that thing. That had to be a better one. Oh, oh, oh. A fish. Barely. Flipping, huh? It's not the right ones that we need. But it's fish and it probably isn't 15, but we're gonna look and see. Right 
right at 15. Would you like to verify, Tony, since I was brain dead last time? Yeah, we got it. Not the one we want, but it's a start. Thank you, sir. He's on there still, he's the little guy. Biggins only, Tony. We missed the memo. Oh, the fish did. We're good. Fish missed the memo. That's why you throw the big beaver. Catch the better quality, right? I was gonna say, that sounds like a good one. Julieza? On the crankbait. He hit a list. It wasn't even on a crankbait. He hit a list and just hit the water. Up real shallow. Huh. That was a good one. The hell? <laughs> he like came up and kissed it. Whopper ploppers only catch biggins. Big's the only. Just relax. I'm throwing you back maybe. I might eat you now. Not a babe. Oh, that's a better one. Dude, my bait was, it was just sitting there. That one sounded different when he bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Freaking dude, my bait was sitting there and he came up and got it. Thank you, sir. I don't know if mine's Yeah, I don't know about our fish situation here, but hey, we weren't catching keepers doing anything else, so God, he was barely hooked too. No. No, sir. I think that's a yes, sir. Sick. Whopper plopper and buzz bait doubled up. Sucks we didn't figure this bite out when it was low light, but well, sun's gonna... not super high now. I don't know if it matters. That guy ate it stopped. You gotta remember though, how, how, when was the last time you fished this lake? A long time ago. When it was hot. Nice. It sounded better than that. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even got it though. The old that's, popper. That's two fish off this tree. Yeah. Had to finesse him a little bit. That's gonna be close. That's gonna be close. That was a cool blow up though. You got that camera. I, I believe so, yeah. Oh yeah, he's right there. Oh, we need to get rid of him though. He's baby. Baby guy. Hey, at least we're on, we're on a pattern. We're on a spot. For whatever reason, well not for whatever reason, this is a pretty badass looking little spot. They are on this bank of timber, standing timber. And as I talked to you guys about, Tony just mentioned a second ago, but I talked to you about all the time. You gotta figure out every day if they're feeding up or they're feeding down, they are most certainly feeding up. Cause even on our wing ding bites and flipping bites, it's been on the fall. So yeah. We just gotta get in the area with the right quality fish, which it seems like we have. I mean, that's I'll nice. get in a groove where I'll read like a couple books in like a month and then... Oh. <laughs> oh. Wrong size, but that, that, was, cool, that was a really cool bite. Might be the wrong size, he's kind of growing. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. he shrunk. He's the fun guy. Mostly I like that he didn't hook me had the opportunity and he decided not to not a big guy but hey top water's fun mm. get him nice. i'll let you handle him i have faith in you maybe not i have faith hey that's good though they're still eating top water they're just like when they eat it it doesn't sound like a 14 incher no. when they eat that you're right. They're mad at it. <laughs> Fat. We need to get some long ones. <laughs> long ones built like that. Careful. 
Oh, that was a keeper. That was such a keeper. Oh. No. He must have like had his teeth on it or something. How the hell did that break off? 20 pound line. Ugh. Wasn't that big at least. No, it was a keeper. At least it was just like a two pounder. Yeah. Fuck. That was dumb. That should not happen. Moving bait too, man. Reeling it in. So maybe that's like, that's the deal. Ugh. Catch that fish that's on. What the f dude? That was stupid. I should have caught that one. Wasn't a big, big one, but. Yeah, no, it was two pounder. He sticks. Oh, like oh shit. Short, thick. Look how broad that thing is. Stupid. Didn't see anyone there this morning that wanted to go too bad. Good one? Walleye. Oh, it is a walleye. walleye. That's like last time, man. Everyone was saying that, like, every time you go out to get a rock pile, there's walleyes. That's the most important fish in the history of Nebraska, Tony. Don't kill it. Baby. Baby one. Another walleye. Stupid huh? ass walleye. I'm just gonna leave him there for a while. Get out of here. God, dude, he's gonna tear me up. Eee, thank you. Not yeah. just like, oh, I'm, you know, right. I drank, I smoked weed. Yeah, God dang it. What's up with the front of this brush pile having little ones on it? That's like the fourth one. Yeah, but that 5%. <laughs> Peeing on me. Yeah. Okay, I'm at first. We're about halfway through the tournament. We got about three and a half hours to go. Um, we got four fish in the box. We got on a pretty good bite this morning where we uh, actually got some topwater fish. Tony started catching some on a buzz bait. So I threw the plopper in there. I caught one on that, I caught one on the popper. And uh, we kind of ran that for a while. And then we started doing a little bit of flipping, caught some flipping. Unfortunately, we have not fished very clean. I had like two weird fish come off. One broke my line after I saw it chase the, the beaver to the boat and I dropped it right back down and he ate it and I set the hook and my line broke somehow. It was a 20 pound test, so that was fantastic. And then the next one, I just didn't stick hard enough and force him into the boat like I should have because I thought he was a little tiny fish, so I'm not gonna do that again. Uh, but luckily those were just like two, two and a half at max fish. We do need one more though, so what do you think, Tony? We gonna get, we gonna get one more? I hope so. We better. We haven't fished very clean the last few tournaments together, but like I said, the ones we lost were not tournament winning fish. They were keepers, but we're just we're just driving over a, an entire forest right now. Don't don't mind us. But uh, we're gonna head back down this morning where we got on that top water bite. Hopefully there's not 72 boats there, and then uh, go fish some of those rock piles with a dam. I think we got some other stuff to fish too. That's what we're doing now. Let's make it work. Gone. The crick. No. He's not. He's out of his mind though. Hey, we just moved rock piles. Look at that. Bang, bang. Another one. I don't get it because like, you're laying into him. Yeah, that was a pretty good hook set on that one. I don't feel bad about that. They're on this pile though, man. Just gotta mix a couple good ones in. Yeah, this is, it's one o'clock. We got time. I accidentally caught one. And it's actually decent. Hmm. 
<laughs> it might not be a keeper. I just can't tell. Don't want to dick with it again. It is a grass carp, actually. Come on. <laughs> Come on. He's heavy. Come on. He's so little. He ain't gonna get there. He's a hard fighter, though. I was just, re I started reeling it in, and he was just on because they're freaking just grabbing it. He's not even worth measuring, I don't think. Beauty. Beauty. I'll throw one more time in there just to see if I got him. No, I'm not. My, there goes my worm. It's gone. Piss. Got one. I have one on. Oh. Need the net? That's what that means. Yeah, I'll take the net. Right. Net, please. Hold on. Dude, get the net. Oh. Hmm. It was a good one? Yeah. Had enough weight to do that. It's definitely a fish. I'm reasonably sure. This one's longer. I think he weighs less than the last two I caught, but he's longer than both of them. Of course. Not even Ball sacks. Not even 14. Ugh. But he's longer than all the ones you've been catching. Yeah, he is. He knows how long he is. Giant. Absolute mega giant. What's the length of it? Six inches? Don't think I got it. Don't think I got it. Definitely a tournament retread. He just shrunk up from being caught so many times. He was a five pounder earlier. That's another one that's just giant. Oh. I think I'll, no, it's right here. No worries. That's the same one I just caught. He does. He does. I'm gonna put him in there. Whoa, damn, got it. Right. Not even a big one. <laughs> what the hell? Dude, I thought that was the one. That was insane. Whoa, no! <laughs> oh. Did you see him? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. God dang it. Oh my god. Mm. Mm mm mm. Get him. Yeah, you are. Need help? Nope. He's fat. Look how fat he is. <laughs> of course, yeah. That one's stuck like nothing else. So fat on the buzz bait. God, you there crushing that thing. Are you serious? Dude, it's like gotta be moving. I'm so confused right now. What would you say those four are? Probably 24, 25 pounds? Uh, I mean, I, I'm a big guy, and I'm probably 20. Conservative 20? Yeah. Ounces? What a frustrating pile of turds that was. Hopefully you guys were able to follow along with what was kind of happening there. I found a really weird topwater bite this morning. Even though it was bright outside, they were eating, which it wasn't that weird. It made a little bit of sense. Tony was catching them on buzz bait. I caught one on a popper, one on a popper. And then that just went away as soon as it got cloudy and started to be more cloudy and windy in topwater conditions. It was the weirdest damn thing ever. And then the bite slowed down. We had 
couple fish break off. We missed opportunities at like three keeper fish um, and then had four in the box at nine in the morning. We didn't catch another keeper um, the rest of the day, but we spent so much freaking time doing the same type of stuff. We, we tried to mix it up, flipping, dragging offshore, throwing spinner baits, points and whatnot. And it was just like, it was a freaking debacle. End of the day, we pull into a cove, a flatter cove with standing timber, and Tony gets just destroyed on a buzz bait. What, five times, six times? Caught, caught one of them. We saw two of the wall. We didn't see one, but it was like the biggest blow up I've seen by a fish in a long freaking time. Super frustrating day. Um, only ended up with four keepers, but we, I don't think if we would have got like one more two or three pounder, it would have made a difference because it took us, it took like 19 pounds to win here last time. We had like 16, me and Zark did. But uh, this guy is out of his damn mind, has jumped out. He's a really happy guy. We really struggled, kinda. We definitely really kinda struggled. <laughs> Same one. <laughs> that's, that's our day. That's that's a uh, good summation. We have it pretty much in the boat, sealed, locked up, and he gets away. Good work. Okay guys, back home from the tournament now, obviously, sitting in the garage now, kind of thinking about the tournament. I didn't film the weigh-in or anything because I was just mentally exhausted. A long day in the sun. It was like my third straight day of like all day driving, fishing, and you know, five hours of driving and eight hours of fishing. We'll take a lot out of anyone but let me tell you guys how the tournament ended up and then i'm going to show you guys a couple baits the exact baits i used in the tournament to catch our fish and the baits tony used as well um but basically we weighed our fish and we only had four keeper fish which was super super frustrating because we missed like six or seven other opportunities at keepers that it was just kind of freak stuff like you understand losing a fish on top water that just doesn't eat the bait all the way uh, or, or a fish just comes off or something because uh, i don't know you didn't hook it well enough but it was it was just a freak day super weird things happening but we weighed our four fish for a little bit over nine pounds um 14 and a half pounds i think ended up winning the tournament so it's frustrating because we had two fish under two pounds in our bag um, we missed a couple fish. One of them actually didn't show up on the footage. My camera was frozen or something, but it sounded like a daggum bowling ball was dropped on top of Tony's buzz bait, which was crazy. A, a weird pattern at the end of the day. Tony pulled out the buzz bait and got some really good bites with that thing. I don't know. It was frustrating though. Um, I caught the majority of my fish on the beaver. No surprise to you guys there. Anytime I'm around a flipping bite in the summer, especially when it's stained water, I'm going with this black and blue beaver. But I also picked off a couple uh, key bites with this popper style bait. This is the old school uh, pop R P70. Really good bait. Makes a big lot of bloop. Um, which is a good noise, good bait um, for when you're fishing isolated targets like those laydowns and stuff. And the fish are feeding up like I talked about they were. So um, that was that. Tony also was throwing a buzz bait at the end of the day. He got like eight bites. I got none on my whopper plopper and I switched over to black buzz bait. It was too late. We just missed the bite. If we would have been on that buzz bait bite a little bit earlier in the day, I think we would have potentially gotten a check or something. I don't know. We were right there. We only needed three more pounds to get a check. Tony lost like a three pounder on the buzz bait. He pulled it up, came out of the water and it just came off. The one blew up on the boat next to the boat was at the very least three and a half pounds, but probably in the four pound range. It was a weird day with lots of missed opportunities. Um, obviously I broke off a fish at the boat, two pounder on 20 pound test line where my knot just exploded and didn't set the hook hard enough on a fish that was uh, also a keeper as well. So that is frustrating, um, but that's how it goes. That's how tournament fishing is. I'm just, you can always say shoulda, coulda, woulda. Nothing really that big of a deal. It wasn't for a ton of money or anything like that. So move on to the next one. Everyone loses fish. We happen to lose a couple more than usual this day. Maybe the next time we're out, we will uh, have a little bit better luck. Something I did want to remind you guys of is I do get a whole bunch of my tackle at Shop Carl's. Uh, you get like 30 to 40% off all your tackle. And that's where I've been getting all my reels. So I, like every fishing reel I probably used in this video was from Shop Carl's and I'm getting them super, super cheap. So definitely a product for you tournament guys to go check out because you can get like really high class like shimano carados uh daiwa tatulas they just put the nice daiwa tatula uh the 200 dollars ones on there and you get like a 40 dollar 50 dollar credit for it so you just get it cheaper than anywhere else you can possibly get it. so i'll link them right down below at the top of the description and uh yeah let me know if you guys want to see more tournament style videos i enjoy fishing them and i enjoy <sighs> vlogging them i got more coming up in the very near future and actually i'm signing up for a series today 
to fish with the Zark for next year. So I'm freaking jacked for that. I, guess, I know you guys love him. Maybe we'll just go do some fishing with him next couple days as well. I don't know, but we need to do it soon. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this one. I'm at first. I'm out of here. Peace.